Welcome to another episode of Burn Peak Express, and today we're gonna be doing something a little different, but kind of the same. We're gonna be reviewing mounts for your handlebars that hold cell phones. Now, you have to ask yourself, why would you wanna do that ever? There's two main reasons. One of them is navigation. If you're a commuter, uh, even if you're a mountain biker, you need to figure out where you're going, and there are lots of apps that do that for us. Now, the other reason you might wanna mount your cell phone to your handlebars is data. If you're using Strava or Map My Ride, you can have Bluetooth heart rate monitors, power meters, and of course, there are other devices that help you monitor data, but a cell phone is the most easy entry into that. So we do have a lot of people who are in fact mounting their phones to their bike handlebars. I want to see which ones of these mounts are actually going to do the best job of it. And we are going to torture test these. We're going to put the phone in and we're going to do hard hits. We're going to use the new drop. I am not too excited about putting my iPhone in there because uh, it cost me a lot of money and I don't want to break it. So I was able to get a sponsor to send us a phone, Samsung sent us their new Nebula. It's replacing the Galaxy. This is an advanced copy. We're gonna mount this there as sort of the stunt double to my iPhone. So let's start with this first one. We're gonna call this mount the Silico, which appears to be made of all rubber. Okay, interesting. This is actually quality. It's kind of heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Let's install it on the handlebars first. Not half bad looking. I don't like how this hangs so much off the back. I mean, whose handlebar is so big around where you need all this extra here? That's certainly strange. This seems secure enough. Now let's put our Samsung Nebula on here. Ooh, guys, I think we're running into our first snag here. Samsung made an interesting choice. Instead of going slimmer, they put like a 100,000 milliamp hour battery on here. I don't think this phone's gonna fit here, so I'm just gonna use the iPhone and hope for the best. They do make it pretty snug. It's not that easy to get on and off. So it moves around a little bit, and honestly, I think that's probably a good thing. If you're hitting bumps, you don't want it to be rigid and snap off and break something. You want it to move around. One thing's for sure, my face ID is not working because this is covering the camera on my phone. So I have to type in the passcode to open it. I also can't do a lot of gestures on the phone because the corners are covered up. The whole phone is just difficult to use, but I say we take this out on the trail and see if it actually holds a phone. It's baptism by fire. Okay, so I think I had my front tire under inflated and I think it might have popped off the bead. I barely have any air in it. That made the descent extra interesting. And if you look at the phone case, it doesn't look like the phone's in danger of coming out, but it definitely moved. Do you want a mountain bike with this thing? I think from that one test, I could say probably not. For our own curiosity, I think I wanna take this off the driveway jump and see how one big impact is gonna affect it. Didn't move around as much as the rock guard. It's in the same spot. None of this stuff is slipping out of the way. Uh, I say we take it off the drama memorial drop and see what happens. So we've already learned something. Lots of successive bumps like the rock garden is actually more murderous on these phone holders than are just single large impacts. That was by far the largest impact of the day. I mean, I clapped my suspension, worked fine, held up. It might be the type of thing you have to babysit and that's the only thing that worries me about this. Like I said, this has the tendency to creep. That's one thing that we're gonna pay attention to with the other phone cases. Do they wanna creep up the handlebar? Guys, we really did a number. Ah, we really did a number on this tire. Oh, oh God, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing. I'm trying to just rush through this right now. I just hate tire problems. Move on to the next one. This is the Vup. Plus, universal for smartphones, bicycle phone holder. Has a very similar design to the Silica, but it's a little more slim. It doesn't have as much stuff hanging off of it. So you push it in and it comes off. Now, is that useful? One thing I will say is it's easier to attach this while it's off the phone. It feels tighter and more secure than our last model, so that's good. So what is nice about the up is that when you don't have your phone attached, you can still leave this holder here and not have all the rest of it hanging around. And I kind of like that. Wow, this is way more streamlined. So after you tighten it to a certain point, the thread kind of skips. It's a 
plastic strap, so I'm not surprised. Now we should be able to just latch this right on. Yeah, it's on. Oh, ooh, that's not good. We push it in and turn it. How do I get this on? So I gotta give this a oh, low usability marks. This thing moves around really easily. It creeps across the handlebar. I am not dropping into a rock garden with this thing. Can't tighten it nearly as much as the other one. I'm gonna just say this one's a straight up fail. You don't wanna be putting even a cheap phone in this, because even a cheap phone's a couple hundred bucks. So, we've got the Samsung Nebula. I'm gonna put this on the bars. Ooh, I'm getting a call. Hello? Hmm. Huh. Don't worry guys, that was a junk call. All right, we've got our Nebula secured. We've got this on the bars as tight as I can get it. Let's drop into the rock garden and see how she goes. I don't know, I kind of underestimated this thing. I think you could use it riding around a city, no problem. You hit a couple of potholes, you get a big bump, it's gonna be fine. Wouldn't recommend it for mountain biking. Makes too much noise, rattles around, and like I said, there's that handlebar creep issue. It, it moves around way too easy. So if you're gonna hit a whole bunch of bumps for a couple hours, you're gonna constantly be babysitting this thing and, and reattaching it to where it's supposed to be. So maybe for commuting, it's good, but for everything else, I'd say a no. So for those of you who are crying foul because I tested this thing with a big heavy phone, I'll have you know it weighs less than an iPhone. Samsung Nebula is 5.5 ounces. iPhone weighs seven and a half ounces. So we were actually going easy on it. Okay, next product here I have the Gub. Perfectly reasonable name for a phone holder. I hear a lot of metal in here. This appears to be way more robust than some of the other ones. Like I said though, it being rigid isn't necessarily a good thing. Sometimes you want it to give a little bit when you're hitting bumps. This appears to be well thought out. I'm actually gonna just look at the instructions and make sure I'm doing it right, just to be fair to it. Ugh. They're using like text message slang in the, the instructions. They said, please, PLS. This is awesome. So the controls here are pretty simple. You just turn this and it clamps down. Unfortunately, it's not gonna clamp down on our nebula. It sort of like squirms out. So I'm gonna use my iPhone. Good news is it appears to be pretty secure. Oh yeah, there's nothing you can do to make this come out. Whoa, we gotta get this way up the handlebar in order to get it to work. I would say that for a mountain bike, this is definitely not ideal. Now, the good news is it's all very secure. I don't feel weird about tightening this down on my handlebars because there is a rubber pad between the clamp and the bar. Man, in a crash, not good. This might just be a no-go for mountain biking right out of the gate. Let's get it out to the rock garden and see how it fares. So that's as hard a hit as you're gonna ever take uh, with a phone mounted to your handlebars. So I would say this passes with flying colors. This is excellent for a motorcycle, maybe for a bike commuter. The very fact that it sticks out and it's metal and it's got kind of sharp things sticking out, doesn't make me feel too good about it for mountain biking though. So we've explored three different styles of handlebar phone holders and we're moving on to the fourth and final one. This is very popular. This is called quad lock. You're not gonna find any misspellings in the instructions here. It's got one major downside and that's you have to change your phone case and then you can get a variety of mounts. I chose the mount that I thought was kind of the coolest. So we're gonna pop my iPhone into this. Hopefully it fits, it does. The case is super nice. I actually like this case better than the one I got from Apple. It's grippy, but it's still smooth enough where I can get it in and out of my pocket. Might just leave this case on it. The build quality on this mount is truly heads and tails above the rest of the ones that we reviewed today. I mean, it's lightweight, it's solid, it's well-designed. On each 
piece, they list the actual bar diameter, and this is for a 35 millimeter. I don't have to put any pads in. I can just clamp it directly to my bar. It's plastic on carbon, so that's okay. Get it reasonably tight, not too tight. Now, I can just take the phone in the case and just snap it into place. And it's not going to rotate, it's not gonna come off unless I push down this button and then turn it and then it comes off. It's very intuitive. Heard a lot of people talk about these, I've seen them and it deserves its reputation so far. But we still have to go through a rock garden and we still have to hit a couple of jumps and drops. So that will be the verdict. So I gotta say, pretty flawless, nice and out of the way, gives just enough to provide some shock absorption, doesn't budge. Hitting that thing on a hardtail, it's just something I don't like doing. Hardtails are fun, that's not fun, that's brutal. It's just like the old drama drop, so we succeeded. Looks like this mount succeeded as well, it didn't even show the slightest signs of giving in. So. Let's go back up to the garage and conclude this. So, what did we learn today? I would say for casual riding around the city or whatever, you can pretty much use any of these. They were all did a pretty good job of holding the phone. I would say mm, this one was the most iffy with this little thing in the rotating piece. I'm not a particular fan. The Silico, although being a little bulky and ugly, it was pretty secure, it held the phone. Little bit of handlebar creep, but it's really safe because it's made of rubbers. For the price and functionality, this isn't bad. I wouldn't do any long sustained mountain bike descents with it because it's probably gonna creep up the handlebars. The Gub, I gotta say it's really secure. Not too big of a fan of all the metal sticking out. In terms of rider safety, I gotta say it's a little bit iffy. Now, if you're actually mountain biking and you want to use your phone as a bicycling computer, a quad lock style solution seems to be the only way to go. It is way secure, really, really streamlined, poses no sort of safety hazards. The only downside to quad lock, besides paying a little more, is that your phone has to work in their ecosystem. So if you have some new advanced phone like the Samsung Nebula, they, they don't make a case for it, it doesn't work with quad lock. So you would have to have a popular phone like the Samsung Galaxy or the iPhone. I hope you enjoyed testing these phone mounts with me today. I know it's a silly video, but I get a lot of joy out of making these. And right now, I'm going through some pretty tough times right now. And to be able to share these experiences with you guys and just have an excuse to take my bike off some drops, it's really a fun thing. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, we post a video on Burn Peak Express every Sunday. Thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time.